Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at iron condor legs, uh, choosing some of those legs and kind of why I choose one leg over another. So let's take a look here, listen to the question first, and then we'll go into uh, looking at the different legs and sides of the iron condor. All right, so when you're structuring an iron condor, you're probably looking to set up either the left side, which is maybe the put side, could be the right side or the call side, um, as you look at the risk profile picture. Now, when you do this, there's a lot of choices because you have a lot of strike prices and a lot of people don't know, hey, do I choose one very far out, close in? How do I pick those things? So I'm gonna cover this in some detail here. I think uh, the better approach is if you're really serious and interested in this uh, kind of thing, uh, then go into our website and uh, we really cover iron condors in depth in the course. So definitely check this out in our uh, options mastery course because this, this course is like 20 hours long and I think you'll get way more out of it. With that being said, let's look at an iron condor here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's pick something like uh, Microsoft. So if we go ahead and start with Microsoft and we go in uh, about 57 days out, the reason I choose 57 instead of let's say 15, well, you can get wider uh, because there's more time premium there. If you go 36, you'll have to be a little tighter. Okay, so the question is, is remember, price, current price that we have is 183. So how wide do you wanna be? So if I look at the put side, okay, so here is uh, my delta, which basically gives me a probability or chance of success, that's a 12 if I buy it. That means 12% chance if I'm a buyer. If I'm a seller, what does that mean? That means 88% chance of success if I'm a seller. So if I wanna go ahead and get closer, well, this one uh, right here, um, this one gives me an 80% chance of success. That's 20. So could I go tighter or could I go wider? So take a look at this. If I go ahead and I sell a vertical here, and I analyze this trade, and I go in on 57 days, uh, let's just go 170. Why choose 170? 170, this is a delta of about 26, that means about 75% chance of success if I'm a seller. So let's choose 170, I'm short the 170, and I'll maybe go 10 points out on the strike, that just, you could do five, you could do 10, you could do 15. The wider you get, the more um, capital you have to put up, um, but less contracts you kind of have to trade. So here in this case, I'm looking to make $169 on $831 of capital used. Okay, the difference between these two. So $169, that's what your uh, profit right here would be because I'm a seller, I've sold it. Boom, done, 169. Now, why would I choose this? over maybe, let's say another one, 160 and 150. This one is $92 uh, dollars or 92 cents for the spread, but $92, because remember each option contract's worth about 100. Uh, you multiply times 100. And this one is $1.69. Why would I choose one over the other? Well, if I'm getting less credit, that means that I have a higher chance of success because I'm further out, I'm at 160 here on my short. Okay, this short is at 170. I make more money, but I'm closer to the current stock price. So how do I choose? Well, do you wanna be closer to the stock, uh, strike price or the, the current at the money uh, stock price, or do you wanna be further out? What percentage of success do you want? Okay, the 170, versus the 160, okay? So how do I make this decision? Well, let's go back to the trade area. 170 right here versus the 160. Well, this is a 26, this is a 16 delta. So what does that mean? This roughly has an 85% um, uh, chance of success, okay? This one roughly has a 75% chance of success. How do I get that? Well, you take one and you subtract it or 100. Now, you could go ahead and simplify this if you want. Instead of the delta, you could go in and do a probability of out of the money, okay? And you can see your chance of success goes way up the further out you are, right? 
because right now the current price is around 175 to 180. This is kind of the at the money area. Actually, the exact current price is 183. So if you're really, really close right here, 183, okay, if you're further out, you have a higher chance of success if you're a seller. If you're a buyer of it, well, you have kind of a chance of it not working in your favor. You have like a 98% chance it's not going to get that down there. Um, if you're over here and closer, you've got a 75% chance of success. Now, you see these don't line up perfectly. Most people use the deltas, but could you go ahead and use these probabilities? Yeah, you could do that as well if you want. But just understand you'll be a little bit skewed. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, and some people, what they do is they go ahead and use the other way, probability of in the money, which is inverse or opposite of this. I like to use probability in the money. That's if you're a buyer. So if I buy, let's say this one right here, if I'm a buyer, that means if you're a seller, well, you got a 90% chance. But if you're a buyer, you've got a 9% chance. So how do I make this decision? Well, if I'm selling verticals, I'd rather be, you know, 90% chance of success. And in that case, hey, those are good odds rather than maybe 60%, 62% chance of success. Well, what's the trade-off? Well, the 62% chance of success or 69% chance of success it's still pretty good odds, right? You would think, yeah, but remember, th this stock can go down pretty quickly and be right there. So I've got more range if I've got more of a 90% chance of success because remember, we're at high volatilities right now. The current market is at high volatilities. So this 90 can creep up on you pretty quickly and that's why you're getting more spread and more distance and more range uh, than you normally would. So anyways, that's how you would choose it. Uh, so you can go ahead and let's say in this case, I could choose a wider one and you can do the same thing on the call side where if you want something around uh, 20% chances of uh, in the money, which is 80% chance of success or so, you could go to that strike price, sell a vertical. And now uh, I accidentally click buy. So let's sell the vertical, sell a vertical. And then we'll go 10 points out. And there you go. There's your construction of that vertical on each side. And now, you know, they only margin you out based on uh, one side because, you know, uh, price can only be in one point. But that's how you could go about choosing some of these uh, strikes about, hey, what success do you want? Do you want to be really wide or do you want to be a little tighter? So if here's an iron condor here that's a little bit more normal, I would say. But if you're really, really, really nervous, well, let's just go in and make this wider. And I'll just show you. Let's say we go to 150 and this will go to the 140. Unlock the price. And this one will go to the 210 and the 220 is where we'll buy it. So now look at this one. This one's wider, but I make a lot less. So take a look. I only make 112 on this one on capital of 888, whereas this other one, I can make 237 on 763 capital. So I use a lot, uh, I use a little bit less cash and I can make more, but my chance of success is not as high. So there's a trade-off. There's a trade-off in the market. Which one's better? Depends. What What do you want? Do you want, you know, higher risk with higher potential of return? Or do you want lower risk but a higher chance of kind of success? So that's kind of the trade-offs. That's how I would go about picking it. Again, I would highly emphasize check out the course. We talk a lot more about that. And if you're brand new, uh, take a look at the Getting Started page here on the Start section, Options Trading 101. You can check out some of the things on the, the books and courses. Uh, membership and even some coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching if you need some help there as well. Anyways, I uh, want to just say, hey, thank you so much for joining me. Remember to hit subscribe here if you're brand new to the YouTube channel or check out some of the freebies and download some of those by clicking the link right here and you can be on the newsletter list and see some other great videos. Thanks again and remember to do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you in the next video.